breaking into the German mobility market with its big players like Siemens, Daimler or VW is a dream for any consultancy firm. Just eight years ago, French consultants Acker decided to do just that. Now, the German business makes up 50% of Acker's mobility turnover. And Acker's CEO Jean-Franc Ritchie says we will be number one in Germany in just five years. So how is he going to do that? Well, let's ask him. He's our guest today here on The Business Debate. Jean-Franc Ritchie, CEO of ACA, you moved into broke, one can say, into the German market eight years ago, and now it's nearly half your business in the mobility sector. Uh, how did you do that? We are very happy to be in Germany since eight years. We grow very rapidly in organic grow and uh, uh, in uh, external grow, for sure. Now the size of Germany is the same size of France. So we achieved exactly our plan. German companies, the German market is a tough one to crack. Uh, there's, a lot of com there's a lot of competition for companies like yours here. What can you do for companies like Daimler, VW, Airbus, your clients, that your competitors can't do? We are moving uh, expertise from one sector to another one. Uh, when in 2008 the automotive was very down, ACA worked on very big project in aerospace and we train these engineers from automotive to aerospace and we continue to grow. This is our strategy to balance the risk. We have competitors focus on automotive, focus on aerospace, but not focus on every sector. So the mix of sectors is, is what you think will differentiate ACA from its competitors, also for the, for the customers? Correct. And when you are doing uh, 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 the job of the project management in uh, automotive, you can move to do this, the same job in, in aerospace. It's clear that you need a, a six, eight months training, but uh, it's a very good motivation for the, the engineers because he can change his life uh, remaining in ACA technology. How could you grow as a company with a solid base in France, going over the border to Germany, and grow so that the size of your business is now the same in the automotive sector at least and the same as your business is in, in, in France. How did you achieve that? How did you do that? We started with organic grow in the north with aerospace following our French customer Airbus. In parallel we, we spoke with big OEMs and we share that uh, uh, the next step will be to outsource the, the um, engineering part. And uh, you know that we, we closed the, the first uh, external grow buying uh, uh, Mercedes-Benz technology, MBTEC. Uh, it was for us a, a, a big step. And when we closed this deal, ACA doubled the size. After that, uh, it was not possible to continue to grow just around Stuttgart. So we pushed the diversification with different OEMs. And this is exactly what we did uh, in uh, three years. And now uh, the business of Daimler is half of the business we have in Germany. So it is our strategy to, to balance the risk and to have a, a global picture of customers. What do you do for your, let's say for your German clients, what do you do for Daimler, what do you do for VW, to just name two? When we arrived in Germany eight years ago, we imagined what will be the future. Future autonomous car, electric car. So we invested in this kind of uh, company. And this is what we are pushing, for example, in Daimler. We are, we are doing today uh, electric vehicle, electric derivate, uh, test and validation. This is our positioning. Uh, let, let me ask from a very simple perspective. Can't Daimler build an electric car without your help? They can do, but, but uh, for that they need more time. So they ask uh, uh, support uh, from ACA to accelerate this uh, development. Daimler is a very successful company. They, they built a lot of small cars since five years, but uh, they, they must do uh, this with uh, less time. You have a long personal history with ACA, as a, not only as a CEO. Tell me about your personal connection to ACA. So I started in ACA uh, in 1988. 
the company was fresh. My my, bo my brother started this company in '84. We have passion. We have uh, passion for technology. It's clear. Uh, I like cars. I like boat. I like train. I like aircraft. So uh, this is uh, what I prefer. My brother is the same. We have this passion, and this is the big difference with our competitor. They are focused on recruitment. They have not the passion for the technology. Talking about engineers, you also have a, a relatively unique approach with regard to talent, don't you? We must win very nice projects to be attractive. And in parallel, we, we started our uh, own academy located in Geneva to find the best uh, uh, motivated engineers. And after that, they, they, they will be involved on, on, uh, on big projects. Is it not enough anymore to pay big bucks to attract the best people? You need to find the, the, the uh, motivation around technology, and uh, this is what we are doing. If you look at the future, if you look at the next five years, in the, let's call it the mobility sector, what are the big challenges for your customers right now? The big challenge will be to reduce the CO2 emission, for sure. For that, they must move to electric, electronic vehicle, and uh, electric vehicle, and uh, this is what we are pushing right now in Germany. But not just electric. Electric, tomorrow autonomous car with uh, multimedia insight, uh, digital connection with everything. You are sitting in your car, driving in autonomous, and in parallel you are working, you are fully connected. This is the future. And for our customer, they are going to move from mechanical expertise in the car to digital expertise and uh, this part will grow they have they have a lot of needs for that and this is the reason why we are in germany to push in this direction thank you very much thank you <laughs>